a couple people, uh, one person asked me some good questions about my fog light video, how I'm doing the installation here. This vehicle was not equipped with fog lights on it, and he asked some good questions in this video. Also, to answer in for other people that's wondering about it, that's trying to upgrade the fog lights onto it. So, basically what I had to do, there is a blank cover here. I'll see if I can find it. They look like this. I just, I just call them like delete covers where they just go over the uh, cutout where the fog light's supposed to be at on it. And what I had to do, I had to take the front bumper off. I do have a video on how to do that, but there's some screws and clips you gotta remove off the top. Also, you'll have a bunch of screws underneath the bumper. You know, just kind of follow the bumper along and you see all these screws here. I believe they were uh, either seven or six millimeter and you got the 10 millimeter with some clips up front. Then you got the, I believe it's either seven or six millimeter, two screws right here. And you'll have a clip right where my finger's at here. And to get to that, you can turn the wheel outwards if we got some room to work with. And you'll have a 10 millimeter bolt, two bolts here that holds a bumper onto the fender. Same thing with this side here. You got the bolts right two, two right here, and you'll have a clip right here, and you got the 10 millimeters that holds the bumper onto the fender. And when you get it off, you cannot pull it off all the way because there is the wiring that goes to the active grill shutter and the ambient uh, sensor, I believe they call it, the temperature sensor on it that is attached, the wiring is attached to this bumper here so what you have to do is pull it out some and take a dual panel tool remover on the most pliers and pop the clips off of the bumper behind it and after you get the bumper off now what you want to do to get it since this car was not equipped with it I had to get a whole new wiring harness the one with the fog light connector onto it because if yours does not have it yours will may not come pre-wired I've heard some of these cars do come pre-wired, but this vehicle did not. So what I had to do is go, I went on eBay, and this is a 17 vehicle on it, and I got one that's a 16. The only difference on it was just right with the active grill shutters, is a, where you plug it in from the bottom of it. The connector was just different. Mine's smaller, and the one that it came with, the wiring harness came with, was a bigger one, so all I just did cut it and just spliced up the wires the same uh, matches of them and spliced it up and it worked for me so people's asking too where does it plug into well their main wiring harness is right here right behind the bumper when you take it off you can see the main uh, wiring harness that runs to here to the bumper so all you gotta do is just disconnect the one wiring harness it should be maybe about that big it's not the You'll have two, but I think it's about over here. Then you got the great big one. The bigger one, you leave that alone. It's the other one that you want to disconnect. And you move it from the bumper here. And I'll add these part numbers on the inside the description. Then, like I said, you've got all this wiring here. So you want to make sure, look at yours, make sure they all match up with your sensors, your active grill shutters. And the fog light onto it. I believe that's all it just goes to on it. So, and I will, um, I did have somebody ask about this here if this was painted or not. When I bought these, these did not come with this gray strip here that you see that runs along. So, like what you see here, the one that has this cutout here did not come. It came basically like you see with here didn't have anything on it so but I looked online the dealership is wanting uh, basically if like original the factory that comes off the factory line with fog lights don't know if you ever know that but these are chromed on it well I looked into those and they're wanting over a hundred dollars just for a chrome one and I thought that's kind of dumb to spend a hundred dollars when I can just take mine off which is just tabs that you have to go to the back end of it and release the tabs off of there just to take it off and it will line up with here and you just push it in on it so there's no point spend that hundred dollars just for a chrome 
when you can just settle just for the painted one that comes with your car onto it. And the fog light switch on it, I'll go ahead and show you. Now since mine did not come with fog lights factory, I had to change out this headlight switch on it. I got mine off of eBay for $25. I'll also add the part number on it too. But I do have a video on how to replace it, but mine did not have the fog light switch here. So all I had to just do is take the old one off, put the new one in, plug it in. Now also I had someone ask me how to turn on the fog light indicator. With that, uh, you will need a software and a uh, laptop. The software I use is called Forescan, and you'll need a uh, connector piece that plugs into the OBD port here to your laptop. It's called the ELM327. That's the connector I use on it, and you can get pretty cheap. I think about maybe $25 on it. And all you gotta do is connect it to the car, to, a soft, uh, to your laptop, run the software, and scan the vehicle. Make sure, click the vehicle, whatever it shows, like mine's at 17 Fusion. And you want to make sure it scans all the uh, uh, components on it. Then on the, like I said, I do have a video on how to turn the fog light indicator on. So I had to go into the ICP on the software and find the bl uh, block that uh, goes to the fog light switch I needed to activate. So with mine, it was a zero, which is disabled. So I needed to change that to a one to enable it. I do not have the key on me at the moment, but after you do that and click right, it'll, it'll write it and it says to turn off the car. Do not start the car up when you do this software thing. All you just have to do is how to accessory mode. But after you do that, it'll say turn the car off. So all you just do is push the button. I like to wait for a while. Start, uh, just put it back onto accessory mode and just turn on the headlight. And push your fog lights and you'd be able to see it working so i hope this video answers your guys' questions if you got any more just comment down below and i'll try my best to answer them thanks for watching